What's good, YouTube? I'm here with a confession. I know y'all see the, the caption. This is no cap. Now, a lot of y'all thought I started OnlyFans in 2020. Nah, bae. You thought. And I guess there's a little bit of truth to it because, you know, I started my personal OnlyFans in 2020. You know, a lot of people found um, success on OnlyFans um, for a lot of reasons. You know what I mean? Some people because they got laid off for work and they had nothing else to do. Some people because they have so much fucking time now. You know what I mean? Some people just said, fuck it. And you know what I mean? Let me try it. Whatever the fucking reasons are why you started is why you started, right? Um, but for me, you know, there was a girl that I was dealing with back in 2017 um, that had an OnlyFans account. And you know what I mean? I was in my, my second season as a pro. And obviously, you know, this kind of realm is super contradictive um, for a lot of owners and shit like that. So I said, fuck that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna create one. But you know, the shorty I was dealing with had one, and she was like, yo, we should make OnlyFans together. Like a couple's OnlyFans. Like a lot of people are doing that shit now. Like I was doing that shit before y'all made this shit a trend. You know what I mean? Now, I didn't continue with this shorty because we kind of fell out together. You know what I mean? We kind of fell out together. We weren't really, we weren't really fucking with each other like that. And I feel like if I was going to, you know, really commit to doing like a couples only fans, like having something that intimate out there on the internet with somebody type shit, like I need to be in it for the long haul. And, you know, during that time, I was really into my red pill. You know what I mean? I was really, really, really into my red pill. Urgh. I wasn't trying to fucking hold it down and get tied down to nobody. You know what I'm saying? But I definitely, you know, jumped on there and gave her some real good hot and steamy content. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I got paid. You know what I mean? I got paid. She definitely gave me my cut and all that shit. I directed the shit. Like, I've always been good at that shit. You know what I mean? Like, I've always been a freaky ass motherfucker. And I've always been good at making videos. So, yeah, the shit just worked out for us. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I hope that just addresses that. You know what I mean? Like, just to tell y'all straight up. Just want to be straight up. Like, look, like, I had OnlyFans. I've been in the game with the shit. You know what I mean? Shorty told me about the shit, too. And yeah, there's content of me and another girl out there. Fuck it. It's there. You know what I'm saying? All right, now go ahead. Go look for that shit now. It's probably not even around anymore. That was like 2017. But, you know, shit on the internet never erases. So I hope a lot of y'all know that that might have started a fucking OnlyFans. You ain't going to get away with the shit, all right? So if you in it, you better be in it, all right? All right. Now, let's talk about, um, you know, I was on live with some of y'all last night and it was it was a real good conversation so i felt like this is something that i should definitely talk about and the phenomenon with the straight models on only fans with gay for pay now gay for pay um if you don't know it, it kind of sounds straight up for what it is is there content on my only fans that would please a homosexual man yes is there content on my only fans that would please the ladies yes i told y'all the other day if you're into men you're gonna love me Okay, look at me. Come on. I'm, a, I'm sexy as shit. Come on, man. Don't even let me get all crazy on YouTube, man. Y'all know what I'm on. You know what I mean? And honestly, like, you know, this year I really pushed it. There's a lot of things that I've done in the content that is pushing my limit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm comfortable with who I am. I'm comfortable with my sexuality. I know who the fuck I am. You know what I mean? I love women. I ain't doing all that stuff with men, to be honest. And I don't look at that as a bad thing. If you are into men, whatever, that's the fuck you're into. I don't give a fuck what people are into. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, look, there's only three things I can't fuck with. Three things. I can't fuck with people doing shit that's hurting people. If you're hurting people physically, I can't fuck with that shit. If you're doing shit that's fucking satanic, I don't need to explain myself. No, I'm not doing that. If you're doing something that's criminal activity, like serious criminal activity, I can't fuck with that. And in that regard, I'm not the type to be like, oh, well, you know, you're doing uh, criminal bullshit and I can't be a part of that. No, I'm not no goody goody two shoes ass dude. But the issue is that the way the law is set up, if you're in a store with somebody and even if you didn't know, if they stole something and you were with them, they're going to charge you as an accomplice. If you drive in a vehicle with somebody and he got bricks in the back of the car and the police stop you and check and they find that shit, they're taking your ass as an accomplice. So that's the only reason why I don't really fuck with like people that's doing criminal activity and shit like that. Not because I think it's wrong. You know what I'm saying? If you're just trying to get this money to feed your family type shit, do what the fuck you got to do. But I ain't finna go down on some shit you doing because I'm there with you. Motherfucker, I wasn't doing shit, and I wasn't going to get no cuts. So how the fuck am I going to chain with you? So those are the three things that I just absolutely, positively just don't fuck with. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, but other than that, I don't care. Like, yo, if you're in the men, what the fuck? You do whatever the fuck you want to do, ladies. Like, yo, if you want to fuck a whole bunch of guys, do the fuck, do what you want to do. If you want to, you know, be be for one guy, whatever the fuck you want to do in life, bro. I don't give a fuck. This is why I've been able to get so far in life. You know what I mean? Because I'm not judgmental in a in a world where there's just so much judgment. You know what I mean? This is why people don't maximize their potential because the judgment is real. And now we've created these platforms now, which are great. You know what I mean? I love social media for what it is. I use it for right fucking reasons. But at the same time, social media can be so detrimental to people because, you know, now people can make these fake ass accounts and jump on Google, go jump on Gmail, make these fake ass accounts, talk all this bullshit. You know what I mean? All these opinionated people, you know what I mean? So a lot of people don't maximize their potential because they're scared of, you know what I'm saying, of judgment. I, I don't fear that shit. I don't fear judgment. Only God can judge me. I know who the fuck I am. I know what the fuck I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? And I understand that at the end of the day, what y'all need to understand, if you was a female or you was a guy, OnlyFans is primarily predicated. I know there's probably no stats out there officially. If I, I didn't look up no stats, but if there was, OnlyFans is made of about 95% men. There ain't no fucking women on that fucking OnlyFans. Why would there why would women be all up on OnlyFans? Know what I mean? Like, let's let's be real now. Like, some of these chicks won't even buy a nigga a, a motherfucking motherfucking Little Caesars. Some of y'all won't even buy a man a five dollar Little Caesars. Some of y'all don't even pay your bills. You gonna jump on OnlyFans? You can't, and you won't. You know what I'm saying? So that's just what it is. Um, and again, I just don't fear the judgment. But let me get back to the point of the gate for pay. Um, my limits are my limits. Like, I can't, there's certain shit that I just won't do. Um, you know what I mean? I don't have any content with another guy on there. You know what I mean? Some fans got upset about that shit. And I might lose, you know what I mean, some fans because, you know what I mean, I'm not, I'm kind of leaking what I'm doing, but I'm not going to jump on here and like sell you a dream. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm definitely not going to do meetups. I have fantastic fans, man. You know what I mean? I have fantastic fans. I got people that are like, yo, like, you know, let's take a trip. We'll fly you out. We'll do this. We'll do that. But as a man myself that has game, by the way, I can't pull up on you, bro. To be honest, I can't pull up because I know at the end of the day, you ain't trying to do this to just be cool with me because you a fan. You trying to have me pull up to where you at because you want sexual favors. And I don't want anyone feeling like they got scammed out some money or I'm playing them um, when they don't get what they want because that's not what you're going to get. Right. And again, like I've already pushed the limit, like what's on the only fans is going to be satisfying to you regardless. Now we're on YouTube and there's a family fucking app um, site, whatever the fuck you want to call it. So I can't tell you exactly what's on the bitch, but yes, there's shit on there. That's definitely going to get your rocks off male or female. If you are into men, you're going to love me. Subscribe to my only fans. Fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? And if you have started on OnlyFans and you need some uh, some advice and like pointers and shit, I could definitely help you out because I'm not new to the shit. I didn't just jump on the shit in 2020. I made my own in 2020. You know what I mean? But back in 2017, I already jumped on the wave. You know what I mean? The shorty I was dealing with put me on the wave. And I, I, I always saw the OnlyFans shit. You know what I mean? Because starting in 2016, I always saw the OnlyFans shit, but I never, I was never really interested. You know what I'm saying? I was just never, I never really understood the shit. You know what I mean? Especially because I was so focused on trying to play basketball overseas and get, you know what I mean, just get all over the world trying to get to the NBA. Now I'm at a point in my life where one shit travel is just not really a thing right now. So even if, you know what I mean, the opportunity comes to go play, like I'm not really trying to be going all over the place like that. I kind of do enjoy um, the fact that I can, you know what I mean, do have my own schedule, you know what I mean, and just do what I got to do on the OnlyFans. Um, but yeah, I just want to address that whole gay for pay thing. Um, is there content on my fucking OnlyFans that you will enjoy? Yes. If you are into men, you'll be into me. Women, men, doesn't fucking matter. You'll like this shit. You're going to see and you're going to laugh. But there's nothing that you can do that's going to make me fuck on camera. You know what I mean? I didn't give a fuck if you gave me, man, 10 bands to go do. Well, all right, maybe I might do it for 10 bands. But anyways, you know what I mean? On a serious note, like, yo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yo. I I I um I lost my train of thought. Anyways, y'all, that that pretty much wraps up the video. I think if I go any further, I'm just I'm just ranting on. But I hope y'all um enjoyed this uh this insight and the shocker of me having an OnlyFans from beforehand. And go ahead, I'll have my OnlyFans link um in the description box. So go ahead and subscribe. You already know what it is. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other.